Hi, I'm Carol Wilson, editor at large from Light Reading, and I'm here with Dave Sperling, the CTO of Smith Micro. Welcome, Dave. Carol, good to meet you. So, Dave, tell us about Smith Micro. Who are you guys, and what do you do? Smith Micro is an ISV. We've been around for 33 years, believe it or not, but we've wow, been okay. servicing the mobile operator space for over a decade. And we are members of the Wireless Broadband Alliance, the WBA, okay. and we really share the, the goal of the WBA, which is to make Wi-Fi as seamless and secure as mobile broadband. Okay. So uh, from your perspective, what are the components of carrier-grade Wi-Fi? So carrier-grade Wi-Fi is really all about policy and control. So the first aspect is really just seamless connectivity. Okay. You demand when you come into a hotel that you get seamlessly connected. The second is really about policy, making better decisions for the device in, in, in getting connected. And then lastly, it's visibility. Analytics at the edge device so that uh, operators okay. really know and understand what the true user experience is. Okay, and why are these components critical to the industry? So the industry with Wi-Fi is very different from mobile broadband, which is where we came from. We've, okay. we've actually helped a lot of operators roll out Wi-Fi, but it, as, as we all know, Wi-Fi is unlicensed spectrum. It's mm -hmm. the wild west, it's anarchy, right? And so there's a different set of management challenges that operators have to actually have to address. And then there's the explosion of Wi-Fi calling, right? So people are doing a lot more over Wi-Fi, and it's not just video streaming, they're doing real-time applications now. Okay, and what market and in in use cases do you see using carrier-grade Wi-Fi going forward? Well, it really runs the gamut from consumer and the insatiable demand for video, mm -hmm. but also going out into the neighborhood and, and now demanding connectivity outside of home and office. For enterprises, it's for global roaming and, and ensuring that uh, mobile workers get connected wherever they are. And then lastly, it's the challenge of venues and when you have a high concentration uh, of, of connected individuals. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. So how far in the future do you see these goals, particularly the ubiquity part of it, yeah. be, being met? Well, it's a, it's a huge challenge, and, and just like uh, several folks uh, talked about in the, in the conference today for the Light Reading uh, NFV conference, mm -hmm. it's really not a destination, it's the journey, right? And so uh, we really see this as a three to five year journey as we work out uh, a number of technical challenges and, and really business challenges for Wi-Fi. The pieces are starting to fall into place, mm -hmm. and thanks to the Wireless Broadband Alliance and a set of Hotspot 2.0 standards, we're making progress. Uh, but you know, a lot of people have been disappointed by the by the uh, the speed of, of deployment of Hotspot 2.0. Mm -hmm. But things are falling into place, and we really see uh, that policy is is really a big element of that, and which is why we're so involved with the policy working group at the WBA. Okay, so what can operators be doing to help meet the goals of carrier Wi-Fi deployment? Well, coming from the mobile broadband side of the world, you know, we do device management software and policy management software for mobile broadband. We think there is, is even a bigger demand for policy in the Wi-Fi world to, to manage all of these challenges we've been talking about. Mm. So we've developed a product. It's called NetWise. It is a platform for Wi-Fi mobile operators as well as mobile broadband uh, operators for policy, credentialing, seamless connectivity, and, and analytics so that they can understand the quality of experience on the, the edge device. Okay, great. Dave, thanks for being here with us today. All right. Thank you.